Anthony Slater from the Bay Area, who's on the beat covering the Warriors for the Athletic. He and Shams Tarania were the first to report earlier today that Clay Thompson had been cleared for practice as he enters the final ramp up stage. And you say that he's trending toward Christmas to play his first game in about two years. Uh, Slater and then uh, our old colleague Steve Kerr threw some cold water on that just a couple of moments ago saying, I don't know where that came from. So can you explain your story and what Steve Kerr meant earlier tonight at the podium? Yeah, I think what matters here is uh, what NBA practices are in the season. And, and I mean, you know as well as I do, veterans usually take those off. Sometimes there's some game planning. Clay Thompson is physically capable of doing that. He doesn't necessarily have to be in the game planning or, or the shell drill. What matters is the scrimmages. He spent this past week, uh, you know, scrimmaging at home while the Warriors were on the road with guys like Dante Exum, some other pros, fringe pros. Uh, and came through that really well. And that means he can now ramp up over the next month playing scrimmages with, you know, back end of the roster guys after practice. He's capable of doing all the strenuous stuff on the court. The body is ready for that. And and if it responds well over the next month, uh, the belief is it's the belief is it's trending towards December 20th potentially at home, December 23rd at home, or December 28th at home, because the Warriors have said they will debut him at home, not on the road. Having not played since the spring of 2019, what are the Warriors saying about how they'll use Clay once he returns and what are their fears once he returns? Yeah, I mean, and, and to contextualize that too, he was very close off the ACL last time and then hurt the Achilles. So I think that that adds an extra layer of precaution for them during this kind of late, late stage of rehab. But, um, you know, Clay's even admitted himself. He thinks he'll probably come back to 18 to 24 minutes a game to start. Uh, I would expect him not to necessarily play on both sides of back to back, be eased into uh, the rotation uh, as his, you know, and everything will be about how his body responds to, to this and, you know, at every next stage of this. But uh, the belief is by, you know, February, March, April, they hope to, you know, get him back to his 34 minute uh, load, basically. What's the latest later on James Wiseman? Yeah, he has. An, the thought was he was going to be cleared uh, this past week and was going to be able to actually, uh, you know, participate in those five on five scrimmages with Clay Thompson, but he wasn't cleared. And and Steve Kerr actually uh, mentioned the name Jaron Jackson and what happened last year with Jaron Jackson, who felt like he was close, but uh, it seemed like that rehab with the meniscus tear, which is very delicate in this late stage. Uh, kept going, kept going, kept going. And so all we know at this point is James Wiseman has not been fully cleared uh, to scrimmage yet in five on five seven.